similarly, Mr. Forty, can you advise the status of and nurses' response to uh, the South African Wind Energy Association, SAWIA's formal complaint to NURSA of anti-competitive behavior in respect of uh, ESCOM's refusal and or delaying tactics in signing power purchase agreements that have been uh, approved uh, 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 for signature by the DOE in its uh, Renewable Energy IPP program. Okay, so, so that is a formal complaint that we have and uh, I, mean, I think in our evaluation of it we, we wouldn't purely look at it as anti-competitive behavior but we'd be looking at um, in terms of uh, the, the licensing conditions, legislation, I guess even government policy that we all you know, adhere to, um, is ESCOM being compliant? because it really has to be in terms of the license we issue to them. And, uh, and this has been through our committees. I, I'm not quite sure if the, if the, rec you know, the record in forms of the minutes, etc. is available publicly yet, um, but it should be in due course if it's not. Um, and uh, the decision has been made. I think it has to be just confirmed, but the, the view is that we, we, we must investigate. So, so when we get a complaint, normally we would do a, a bit of an analysis and then we would make representation, especially if it's a substantial, it's not the small dispute resolution type stuff. We would then go to, uh, depending on the level, if we go to the committees and then the energy regulator, and we'd make a proposal to say, okay, we need to formally investigate this because there, there is merit in A, B, C, D. Um, and from what I remember, so it's been, it's, it wasn't that long ago, but um, the, the recommendation was that we proceed to investigate. I don't know what the outcome of the investigation will be, but there is merit in investigating this, this, uh, the issue that they put forward.